I found you guys. I don't know what I would have done without you. <sighs> I've been out out here for for what? For what minutes, puppy dog? Huh? Huh? She said, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing, you idiot? What are you doing? So, anyways, <laughs> good girls. Yeah, go play. Go play. You're good girls. <laughs> you can go check on me. You're a good girl. So yeah, you're lost out here in the desert. Anywhere. Forest, beach, anything. Um, I'm going to give you a tip. Just one tip. Probably save your life. Uh, it's not super duper commando. It's not from the seals. Or anything special. It's real basic. But one thing that's common, 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 common you see in all all the reports of somebody lost and there was just somebody an elderly woman and they found uh where she stripped some clothes uh empty water bottle they suspect was hers uh a camera a little bit of gear uh i found that all within like the first month uh first couple of weeks actually of uh, this lady being lost and uh it, to just here a month or so ago they a year and a half or so later after this found her bones um a couple of miles away from where they found all this other stuff and what's that tell you found all that other stuff right away but not her and that's common you see that a lot um back in the day uh boy scouts that sort of thing they would send you with a uh, um, set of playing cards nowadays people don't know what playing cards are um in addition to common sense, uh, I always recommend carrying a trash bag in her back pocket. That was mama's thing. She, when we were going into the woods, we had a whistle and a trash bag. Those are great things, stuff in kids' pockets. Uh, trash bags are great toys. They're tents. They're ponchos. Uh, they're all kinds of stuff. They're trash bags. You can pick up trash with them. Um, whistles. Whistles are a great way to signal. Takes no weight. Doesn't freeze. Get a good one. Don't get a little cheapy BS one. Get the ones that I really like are the coach's whistles. Um, I did a bunch of testing and screwing around with not just the loudest one, but the easiest one to blow, the one that took a lot of the least amount of effort. And I figured if you're going to be blowing for a while and or you're possibly hurt or something like that, you don't want to be just be honking away on this horn and just expelling all your effort onto it. So the Fox's 44, I think it is, but the regular black coach's whistle, the beep, beep, that one makes good noise. It takes, like, no effort. The coaches blow them all day long. That's the whistle. If you're going to carry a whistle, carry that one. Um, in a trash bag, it, the next big point is, which I'm terrible at, because uh, I'm always wandering, so it's just, like, normal to be in the woods for me. But tell somebody where you're going, what your itinerary is, and when you get back. Uh, because the reason is, like, this lady, she got separated from her husband and her dog, and... Because he went to turn the RV around and she wanted to go for a walk. That's what happened, I believe, what it is. But anyways, uh, that's uh, it just happens so quick. So the thing I want you to carry with you, the important piece of kit that, like I said, will probably save your life, is this magical little thing right, right here. Look at this. Yeah. Well, it's two pieces, but I classify it as one. A charger for your cell phone. <laughs> and a battery. Make sure it's fully charged and it's a decent one. But yeah. Um, play Angry Turds or Pokemon or something on your phone. And wait. Somebody's going to come looking for you. They'll follow your tracks. It, it, most people won't go that far anyways. Uh, like like I said, most people just go... To me, it's like a half mile. Everywhere, as far as everyone that goes down a trail. Whatever happened, just stay where you're at. Where you got lost is real, probably real close to where you should have been anyway. So if you just stay right there, there will be searchers along that trail where you should have been anyways. They'll be calling, they'll be looking for you. If you have a whistle, you're paying attention, uh, you're book timing it or whatever, just, yeah, uh, sit there, play on your phone. Somebody will come looking for you. Uh, don't don't worry about it. Don't get excited. Uh, Figure out what that bird or that plant is that you're staring at. Um, retire shoelaces the proper way with a square knot. Um, you know, take time just to enjoy things. Um, 
don't go wandering. If you don't know where you're going, you're only going to make, guaranteed, you're only going to make the situation worse. Um, like I said, that it's real common for people to get lost. And if they're not found right away, they're found months later, and it's somewhere to way off. They found, like I said, they found a bunch of their kit just scattered about as they shed it, as they went into delirium and all that other stuff. Don't do that stuff. If you're in a normal area where people normally are, chances are, no matter how, how remote you think you are in the woods sometimes too, somebody's going to come wandering right upon you. So just stay where you're at. And if anything, lay some stuff out. Um, act like you're in this, you know, d d draw a little attention to yourself in that general area. But have some fun with it. I hate people stacking rocks. I was about to say that. Don't stack rocks. That's like you proving you're a kindergartner. <laughs> I can go like that. I'm a kindergarten. Oh, I'm special. Sorry. Anyways, don't. Yeah, if you got to stack rocks, stack rocks. Pick up trash. Do something. Gather shiny objects for the things that fly above you to get their attention. But just don't wander off. Have a plan. Slow down. Don't make things worse. Um, be good and my top not pilgrim.